What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Fins Up Network. I am Ben Morgan, and it is day six of OTAs for the Miami Dolphins on a Thursday. The media was not allowed at today's session, so no notes on specific plays, no quotes from media availabilities, but we've got a few things. But as always, if you haven't done so already, make sure you're clicking subscribe. The quest for a 1,000 continues. We are damn close, should be there within the next few days. So I said, we've got a couple of things. And hey, most importantly, we've got an orange jersey update. And today's winner was Robert Hunt. Spotted toting the orange jersey after being deemed the top performer in Tuesday's practice. I do not have an update on his desired playlist. However, he did put out a tweet that simply said, straight gas. So if that language is foreign to you, straight guess means he thought his playlist was uh, just full of bangers. And if that's still foreign to you, what that means is he thought all of his songs were excellent choices. It's kind of funny how language changes and evolves through the generation. So I remember when the phrase, the shit, came to be a thing. And like, like, hey man, that, that guy, he's the shit. I remember someone telling my dad that he was the shit and my dad coming unglued, thinking that someone was referring to him as feces. So I could see some people hearing gas and thinking, oh, that's something that stinks. That's not very good. But hey, in this situation, that's not the case. Gas equals good. Write that down. But what we did get today from OTAs, not like I said, not a ton, but we did get a few clips from the Dolphin social media team today. I picked out two of the best. Um, We'll start with the least exciting. I'll draw it up here. It's Duke Riley running through a drill. As you can see there, it's a drill where you're engaging with a defender. You disengage and you wrap up the ball carrier. Exciting stuff, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Well, let's go into the more exciting clip that we were given today. It's a completion from Tua to Preston Williams. Over the middle looked to be probably about a 20, 25 yard completion, but that's essentially what we were given um, from the social media team today. The good news from that clip though, what we can really get from it is that Tua's illness was not lingering. He's already back. He's from that. But outside of OTAs, I want to take a quick minute to discuss an article that came out today. It was from the Dolphins Wire on the USA Today titled, Drew Rosenhaus says clients love Mike McDaniel. So Drew Rosenhaus already represents multiple Dolphins players. But remember earlier this offseason when being a Rosenhaus client essentially felt like a prereq for the Dolphins in order to sign you this free agent period? Rosenhaus was talking on his weekly TV spot. He said, and I'll quote it here, they love him, meaning the players. He's made a great impression on the players. They really respect his knowledge. He has made an impression on the players that he's a brilliant football mind. A lot of players have commented that it's been tough. The workouts, practices, conditioning has been brutal, tougher than likely tougher than what a lot of them had done in the past. McDaniel has made a great impression, but he's also a guy who's proving that he's going to demand players that work extremely hard. And I've said this before, but going from Brian Flores to Mike McDaniel has just been absolutely day and night. A breath of fresh air is how I most commonly describe that one. He's already done more to support the offense and Tua than Flores did his entire time with the Dolphins. The coaches he's brought in, the players he's added, especially on the offensive side of the ball. And despite being a first-time head coach, he's been around successful head coaches, and he seems to kind of grasp already what it takes. I mean, look at the guys that he's worked with, though. Kyle Shanahan, Sean McVay, Matt LaFleur. All of these guys have spoken highly on McDaniel, and you can tell when they're doing it that they are sincere when they are speaking about him as well. Plus, just in general, McDaniel's personality, so welcoming, makes for things fun for us as fans. I mean, he's joking around with the beat writers. He's yelling Jalen Waddle's name when Dan Levitard asks him for a player. Hey, who's who's a guy you're excited to work with? And and McDaniel's interrupted him. Jalen Waddle. Jalen Waddle's my guy. That's the guy. And he's not scared to answer media questions as well. We don't have a robot just spewing out this programmed coach speak, which makes it great for us as fans, which makes it great for content, and hopefully great for the Dolphins for years to come. 
but that's what we've got. Like I said, media not available um, today to attend the practice. So just a couple of clips in that article as well, but hopefully we'll get a little bit more for the next OTA session. But until then, Miami Dolphins fans, fins up.